what's up guys, Mo here with Hexanology. Today we're going to be comparing a $9600 Mac Pro versus a PC equivalent. So in front of me I have the Apple Web Store uh, signed up, uh, opened up on my browser, and this is totally maxed out. It has a 2.7 GHz 12 core processor with 64 GB of DDR3 ECC RAM, 1 TB of PCI black base flash storage, and dual AMD Fire Pro D7000 graphics card with 6 GB of GDDR5 VRAM each. This is a beast of a machine. Now, if you are going to buy this machine maxed out, it's going to cost you about $9,600, which is crazy. Now, if you're a Windows user and want the same performance as the base, uh, the maxed out Max Pro, Mac Pro, you're going to want to build something like it. So in front of me, I have lined up a bunch of new egg uh, links, and this is my $9,600 PC equivalent to the Mac Pro. Let's get started. So the first one we're going to be using, the first uh, part, is that the processor. This is the Intel Xeon uh, version 2 Ivy Bridge, 3.5, 3 3.4 gigahertz, and this is a 8-core server processor, so it's going to be, uh, it doesn't have, we, we can get all the 12 cores, but this is an 8-core server processor, so the server processor will give you a, a lot more performance, and it's going to be, a, a, it's server grade, so it's going to be great. It's, it costs about $2,200, which is kind of expensive. But remember, this is $9,600 uh, PC. So if I add that to my cart, I'll add that to my cart. So we'll see how much it comes out at the total. Now, this has been, I've been fluctuating between all the parts lately. So some of the prices have been going up and down. So we'll see at the end how much it is uh, in total on February 2nd. So the second part is the motherboard. This is from 2011, but this is a very, very good motherboard for all the parts we're going to be using. Uh, so yeah, it's, it has USB 3.0. It has uh, most of the things you're gonna need. It will be able to handle all of the uh, graphics cards and the processor and everything we're gonna be using. So it's gonna be a pretty good uh, deal. Uh, so this is $470. So I'll add that to my cart. Next is the cooler. So this is the H100i. Uh, Corsair cooler. This is a water cooler. So you're gonna, we're gonna pretty much getting these because uh, because of all the uh, graphics cards and all the hard drives we're gonna be having to use. So we're gonna use a water cooler. So you're gonna want to really max out on your cooling so you don't have a PC running like a uh, running super super loud while you're working. So we'll add that to the card. That's that's pretty cheap. It's only 110 bucks. So for a water cooler, that's pretty good. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the RAM. This is 32 gigabytes of G Skill Triton X Series RAM. This costs about 380 bucks. G Skill makes great RAM, and this is—I thought this was probably good enough for the 9600 um, PC we're going to make. So the next one is the uh, graphics card. We're going to be using the uh, GeForce GTX 780 Ti from EVGA. I don't know how to really say that. But this costs 720 bucks. You bet you can get it for $710 with a $10 rebate. And you get free gift with this if you actually do buy it. It has 3 gigabytes of GDDR5 built in. So it's going to be using all those RAM to use the uh, graphics card itself. You're going to be able to use a couple monitors with this. But this you could use this. Or you could use this PNY V6QX5000 uh, Quadro K5000 4 gigabyte uh, graphics card. I recommend just using both because we're gonna. If you want it to be, uh, if you want the PC to be as good as the Mac Pro, you want to use both. So you're gonna get in total of seven gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM for both of your uh, graphics cards in total. This has PCI Express 2.0 uh, X16, which is pretty good. And this cost eighteen hundred dollars, so this is the more expensive uh, graphics card we're using. So I'll add that to my cart. So the next one we're going to be using is a uh, Lipa G series G one G sixteen hundred uh, modular gaming supply uh, power supply. Sorry, it has sixteen hundred watts, uh, but it's not available right now. So I'm going to be just choosing something similar uh, later, but um. If I just add this, they're the same price. If I just add one more, I can just add this to mine. Uh, if if you actually do end up building this and that G uh, the the sixteen hundred one is not available, this is a very good alternative. This is the Corsair XI uh, modular. Uh, the maximum is for this is twelve hundred watts, which is going to be more than enough. I was just picking that one because it has more, but this one's going to be good enough, so I'll add that to the cart. 
For the case, I'm going to be using the Fractal Design R4. My best case, my favorite case so far. It's very sleek, low profile, and this is overall my favorite case uh, because it just it has all the space you would ever need. It has everything you're gonna need, and it's just a very spacious case, and it's not even that big. So this costs about hundred bucks, which is the regular price for a Fractal R4 these days. Next, we're gonna be using a, a Mega Raid card. So if you have a ton of hard drives and you want to raid them all together this is what you're going to be using this costs about 780 dollars which is kind of expensive in my opinion for something like this but overall we're still going to need it because once you build your pc you're always going to be adding hard drives or ssds uh eventually if you don't think you're going to you're still going to definitely get this this is a very good uh raid controller and this is great Next, for the SSD, we're going to be using a 1TB SATA 3 Samsung 840 EVO SSD. This is going to be a beast of an SSD, especially it has 1TB, so you can put all your applications on this. And overall, it's just going to be really, really great. Uh, so, this costs about $600, and everybody knows about SSDs. They're super duper fast, and yeah. Next, we're going to be using the Western Digital Red NAS hard drive, 2TB. Uh, uh, you could get up to 3 Three terabytes, four terabytes, but for my for my build, I would just take two TB because that is more than enough for myself, and that costs about 110 bucks. So these big hard drives are pretty cheap, and Western Digital makes the probably the best ones out there. So now we're gonna be using a uh, CD drive because everybody needs a CD drive once in a while, and this supports 3D Blu-ray and uh, it supports up to 128 GB disk. Overall, it's a pretty decent. Uh, burner and reader I guess next we're gonna be using this uh, card reader uh, which is pretty nice you're gonna probably need one of these anyways uh, but this one as you can see is still not available this was 20 bucks so I'll just add uh, this Roseville one because Roseville's are really really good I, I've heard um, my friend actually has one of these so he really likes his Next, we're going to be using this fan case, which you can see is still, this one's still out of stock. Uh, so we're just going to use a similar priced one. So this is the knocked out 140, 140 millimeter fan. And overall, these ones are very, very good. Overall, yeah. And then we're going to be using another 120 millimeter stand. So overall, you can see that this is a $7,000 build so far. And you're definitely going to be able to put a lot more stuff into this. Remember that um, you're going to be dropping a lot more money. You're probably going to be spending more money than this eventually. But if you actually didn't have any of the discounts on this right now, you, you would spend $9,600. You can see that's only 7000 7, right now because you get all the discounts. But if you didn't have any of the discounts on this, it will be $9,600. And Newegg uh, offers free shipping anyway, so that's good. But you yeah, guys, this is a, a Mac Pro equivalent. This is a very very good uh, PC for video editing and everything you're going to use the Mac Pro for and $9,600 here you're actually saving money um, almost $2,000 in savings and yeah so this has been my video of the $9,600 gaming PC versus the Mac Pro maxed out 12, uh, 12 core model so, yeah, guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys liked this video. It's just something kind of different I was trying out uh, to do some PC builds. I'm getting into PCs. I'll be making one pretty soon. Not a $9,600 PC, but a uh, $400 PC pretty soon for you guys uh, for actually gaming. But, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe for future content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, yeah. peace, guys.